drop length is essential for a centered boom and correct leech tension. So here's one of my favorite bimbles to make strops which stay bang on center with a single adjustable splice. Your typical setup as it comes from RS has two adjustable splices for each side. There's a couple of reasons why I don't like this. Firstly, it's a big point of wear. I've had several strops fail over the course of a nationals as they rub on this metal fitting. Secondly, I often find the tails on them flip around and can get sucked into the main sheet if too long when you're running short strops. And last of all, because it's got two separate adjustments, it always wrecks my OCD not knowing if the strops are properly aligned to the centre of the boat. You're going to need 7 metres of 2.5mm Dyneema. Make two little loops with a diamond knot, one inch long, and then a soft shackle which is six inches long. A key element of this is how you attach the strops to the block. You want to take your six inch soft shackle and thread it through the block. Now pay attention here because this is really critical to the whole system. You could just splice directly around the block with a locking Brummel uh, splice. However, splices are only really recommended for a throat angle of 30 degrees, but most strop strops will be well over 90 degrees pulling apart. And this will slowly pull any splice apart that you put directly around this block, unless you maybe have a really high bridle like a 49er. But certainly for the 200, you're gonna to wanna to use this method. So put the soft shackle around the block in a simple loop. Now the critical part is to flip this soft shackle into a figure of eight. So pull the two loops out the bottom of the block and twist them inside out, forming the figure of eight. If you don't follow this method, then the strops will pull apart your block. So we're just going to thread a bit of twine down through the hole. Tie it onto our kind of inch and a half bit of Dyneema with the stopper knot. Just a, just a hitch on there. Then you use that just to pull the loop through. there we go. So once you've installed the loops in either side of the gunnel, you're going to want to start with the attachment of the port strop. And to do this, you want to put a Brummel locked splice through the soft shackle. Now this doesn't permanently attach it because you can always undo the soft shackle at a later point, but um, it's maybe a bit easier just to attach the splice this way. There's plenty of videos online on how to do a Brummel splice, but basically take the end back through itself so it can't come undone. It just means you don't have to bury quite so much tail to get a secure splice. So cut a nice taper into the end, put it tight, and there we are. The port strop attached to the block. So we've got the first strand on, and we're gonna start with the 
actual adjustable splice. Okay, gonna take the leaf through this drop on the side. And the twine's gonna go across the boat. Again, this is gonna be the adjustable splice. Just going to put the adjustable splice in here. our port strop all sorted and now we just need to do the starboard one so again I'm going to start the um, start the process by doing a rumble lock into this into here SK99, so it's quite sturdy stuff, but it seems to smaller rope seems to open up quite nicely for your fid, which is good. Tease some strands out of here to taper it. Okay. And that's the uh, starboard strop locked on. So once the starboard strop is locked on, then you're gonna take your Dyneema, you're gonna pass it through the loop on the gunnel at the transom, across the boat, checking the block is aligned centrally, through the loop in the other gunnel, and now you're going to splice this starboard strop into the port strop over on the port side of the boat as you both come through this loop. Now this point is absolutely critical to get the block central. So you spend quite a lot of time checking that the block is up in the middle of the boat and what I like to do is stick a needle through the two strops when I'm certain I've got them centered just to make sure that they always stay together through the splicing process. Uh, if you get this wrong at this point your strops will always be off to one side and it'll be a nightmare so yeah definitely put a needle through to keep them together then with a fid open up the port strop go down the port strop a good way probably 10 inches or so and take the starboard strop which has gone across the boat and then back on itself you're going to take that inside splicing into port strop. They tighten it up until they are matching at the needle you've passed through. Again if you're uncertain then definitely check that your main sheet block is centered in the boat at this point. Once you're sure you've got the strops equal length you can start to finish off this splice where the two strops come together. So Cut the rope, put a nice taper into it, and then you're ready to stitch it together to stop it from slipping. 
put a good few stitches through this splice because you don't want it ever slipping because then your main sheet block will be off centre. <laughs> There's your finished strop, so you should have one adjustable splice on the starboard side of the boat. When you move this splice, it connects to both port and starboard strops, pulls on both equally to change the main sheet block pattern. So here we are on the starboard side of the boat, adjustable splice leading across, it then joins into the two or separates out into the two strops. One goes straight up the port side, one goes across the boat and then up to the starboard side and you've got this really neat figure of eight which means the load is nicely distributed and you're not going to pull your nice hock and block apart. So here we are in action, top system, single splice, so quick to adjust, always perfectly aligned to the centre of the boat and no metal for the Dyneema to wear on no loose tails to get caught in the main sheet. Great system, top bimble, hit the like button if you've found this useful.